came in the truth, and all around the niggas you used to be with, the family members that you used to smoke with, they always, yo, why you don't hit this J, man? Come on, man, hit this J, man. Yo, I got a pound, what you wanna do? All this type of shit, man. Misery loves company. So when the shit the fan, they could be, they could be able to hold you down and be like, hey, see, I was wicked, but you came back and been wicked with me, so we died together. <laughs> God, God. That's what niggas wanna do, man. Yep. That's the spirit they really have upon them, man. To drag you down with them, man. All right, this is back at Second Edges 2 and 27 says, "Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaven is coming, cometh others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee," saith the Lord. Yeah, man, they gonna they gonna they gonna uh, see us being merry and happy, but they ain't gonna be able to do nothing, man. They 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 gonna want us to be like them, but the Lord is gonna protect us, man. And it's verse twenty nine. It says, "My hands shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell." Yeah, see the grave, man. So so basically, basically, uh, the elect gonna be safe in that day, man. While everybody else getting fucked up. That's right. They wanna eat pork. They wanna be go to, after the way of Esau and shit. That's right. Con. Uh, this is uh, Second Edris, uh, and this is what we're looking forward to. Second Edris, chapter two, verse forty-two. I Ezra saw on the Mount Zion a great people, whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. Verse forty-three. And amidst of them there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest. Which is how man. Go ahead. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns. It was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So Ezra is marveled that Yahweh shot placing uh, placing crowns upon this, uh, th these these men's head, man. Go ahead. Verse forty-four. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? Verse forty-five. He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal. And have confessed the name of the Most High. Hey, man. So, hey, we always say this, man. His brothers said around the world, hey, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. That's right. All right? Hey, you you, you reading this, you got to be able to envision that, man. Yahweh Shah in the midst of this this multitude that stood stiffly for his name, man. That 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 that, that, rap, that told the Edomite, hey, chop my fucking neck off. I'm not taking the chip, man. Who did, what, who did what the Lord said to do all the way to the end, being crowned, man. Yahweh Shai himself placing a crown upon your head. You are now a ruler with me, man. Right. Come on, man. His brother brought that out earlier in Revelation, the second chapter, man. Hold fast to what they have, man. You endure it to the end. You're gonna be. You're gonna. Uh, the Lord gonna give you dominion over the nations, man. That's right. That's what you. That's 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 supposed to be your your aim. That's supposed to be your goal, man. To strive for the masteries to the end, man. To seek Yahweh by Shemayim to the end, man. So Lord willing, you be part of that elect. You get, hey, you get that priceless moment. That moment where, that moment where you where you where you popping your your bitch and your kids, uh, uh, your kids being born, they growing and they asking you, Dad, Daddy, are you able to? And you know, you're gonna bring back the two thirds, you know, you tell them, you tell them like, look, man, you see, hey, the Lord, hey, this is a priceless moment, the Lord crowned this upon my head. They go, wow, how was I gave you that? Yes, son. Yeah, I was shy gave me this, man. Cause I stood stiffly for him, man. Cause I didn't fall. Yeah, I know, I know you, I know you was wicked, but hey, no worries, we in our rest now, man. Yeah, that's right. Go out and go put a couple of Edomites to death, man. Right. That's what you're supposed to be looking out, um, looking for, man. Right. Come on, right. man. This is not our rest, man. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Like the brothers were saying earlier, what the fuck? Why the fuck would you want to be here, man? Why the hell would you want to continue in this place, man? Ain't nothing but hell in this bitch, man. You know? Now are they crowned and receive palms? Verse 46. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them, and giveth them palms in their hands? Verse 47. So he answered, and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, mm -hmm. whom they have confessed in the world. Yeah, you see, 
not only they stood stiffly, but they confessed, man. That that's a that's a cold cut for all you motherfuckers who who done said we ain't got the name or or, or hey, go ahead, I'll continue your jump. Then began uh, Slakia, whom have they confessed in the world? Then began I greatly to command them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Uh, not only did they confess it, they stood stiffly for it, man. Because to be real, uh, to be real, hey, man. The notice it said the Lord commended them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. So the Lord was looking at it as honor. Wow, they stand boldly for this name. That's right. Uh, right? Man, high regards, man. It's rightly. They earned their stripes, man. Uh, they earned their stripes. You know, I always liken the, the truth to a mafia, man. Hey, once the dawn see you, if the dawn see you always able to put in work, and you done sat, you know, you done sat, you done did a, a, a dime for the dawn, the dawn, the dawn the one who murked the motherfucker, but you caught the body for the dawn, and they di they dished the gun, and, and whatnot, and you serve it. When you come back, the dog going, hey, hey, the dog going to sit there, don't nobody ever disrespect this man. All right? You, you disrespect him, you sleep with the fishes. Right. All right? That's what the Lord will, hey, he going to hold us in high regard, man. Yo, these men right here, these men did, imagine that, man. These men did what you bitch ass niggas was scared to do, man. That's right. Stood up for me. That's right. Cause most of these niggas, that's what that's what it is. They just scared to stand up for the Lord in this society. They don't right. they don't want to be looked down upon. Oh, persecuted. You they know they don't want to be persecuted. They don't want to offend. They don't want to get they don't. They scared of Esau. They scared of Esau. What Esau might do. Uh, Can I uh, finish up just a little bit? Yeah, finish up. Okay. God, uh, verse 48. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power thou hast seen. And that's what we're telling y'all, man. We're coming out and telling you the wonders of the Lord, man. And how great he, when he comes, man, with all the blessings we're going to get, man. Nice. All right? That's why the scripture says what was written four times, written for our learning. So when you read it like, whoa, that's going to happen? I got to tell my people, man. So who's going to hear it? The elect? That's it. That's it. That's it. They don't, they the only ones that know the lyrics of the song. That's right. That's right. This is, hey, man, that's that's facts, man. Like That's why the scripture's called a new song, man. Because when, when, you know, when a song come on and it's familiar, man, everybody that know it, they bumping, man. Bumping, they talking, speaking the lyrics. They want a two step they don't even know, man. They just dancing to it. Hey, that happened to me and, uh, me and the brother Ramak the other day. We was inside the house and I mentioned the song. We was trying to remember it. And I was like, yo, I know you know this song. You're like, yeah, I know, I know. I, I, I'm going to know what song you're talking about. Then once I said one, two words, we just started singing it. Because that's the lit. No matter how long ago they haven't heard the song, as soon as the song starts playing, right. them, they go, it's going to resonate. They're going to be like, yo, how was shot coming? Oh, 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 shit, I know this shit. This funky, this that bump, man. Yep. Right. They're gonna get groovy with it, man. Yeah, who's that? Who's tap? You feel me? <laughs> Stir up your pure mind. That's my jam. That's my jam. That's my jam, boy. God, hey, this is uh, going into how uh, niggas don't, don't want to confess, man. This is uh, John chapter 12, uh, verse 37. But though, but though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. That the saying of Isaiah, the prophet, might be fulfilled, which he spake, the Lord, a uh, Lord who hath believed our report, and to whom hath the arm of the Lord been revealed. Therefore they could not believe, because Isaiah said again, he hath blinded their eyes and hardened their heart, that they should not see with their eyes, nor understand with their heart, and be converted, and I should heal them. These things said Isaiah, Isaiah, when he saw his glory, and spake of him. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers also, Many believed on him, but because of the Pharisees, they confessed him not, lest they should be put out of the synagogue, for they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. They loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. Lee, niggas, man. That's why the scriptures say, cursed, cursed is a man that trusts in man, man. That's right. Because you niggas, you niggas rather, 
That nigga's rather Esau be cool with y'all than the Lord being cool with y'all, man. You niggas gotta go, man. It's for real. Go ahead, come on. Yeah, this, um, to land back with the brother, um, Samarkand said, why they, um, the, the elect was, um, commended, man. This is Proverbs 28 and 1. The wicked flee when no man pursue it, but the righteous are bold as a lion. That's why they were commended, man, because they stood stiffly, they stood bold like a lion, man. Hey, hey, a lion not gonna back down to nobody, man. Nothing, man. Alright? And that's why Ezra's commended those men through the spirit, y'all, by Shimei Oshai, because, hey, in this world, like the brother Lord just brought out, it's, it's easy for you to feel, hey, I can't be doing this or that because maybe this person at my job might see me. Or maybe my girlfriend might see me. Or how my mom or dad think about that. Hey, none of them people can save you at the end of the day, man. Right. All right? Only how about Shimmy Alshai can save you. Right. So it'll behoove you to get on his team if you can, man. Right. Hey, and, the, and, 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 and like what Samark had brought up, man, it was an, another reason why they, those men were commended, man. Because they called upon the name, man. They confessed the name, all right? Well, confess it for you to confess. You got to believe on that name. You see, we could ask a million people, are they going to take a chip, man? They, a lot of them going to say no, but there's only a few that's going to say no and say that they're going to call on the name of the Lord to strengthen, them, to strengthen their spirit in those days so they don't take the chip, man. Because right. those men know that it's only, it's only by the power of Yahweh Bashim or are you going to be able to refuse that chip, man. That's that's why they're gonna be committed too, cause they gonna for, for forever call on the name of the Lord, man. That's right. Not just for a moment, not just God. for a time, not just for a season, man. Right. What the, what the scripture saying first, Thessalonians, man. And all things uh, give thanksgiving, man. The good and the bad, man. You know. Yes, I This is Second uh, Timothy's four and six. It says, "For I am now ready to be offered, in the in the time of my departure is at hand." To my fault. It says, verse 7, I have fought the good fight of faith. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Verse, uh, yeah, Paul, man, he fought the good fight of faith, man. He, he had to deal with all these uh these Israelites coming at him, being persecuted, being stoned, you know, going to a city, coming back, go back to a city, still teaching, man. Still having faith on Yahweh Shem Verse 8, henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not not to me only, but to but unto all them also that love his appearing. It's talking about the elect, man. Because you know Paul, the, Paul, Paul is going to be delivered in that time. And, and the prophets, that was the righteous prophets, the elect, they're going to be delivered too, man. Because we hasten his coming. Lord willing, all of us, we are part of that elect, man. That's, right, that's, right. that's what we're looking for. That's right. It's Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. For none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Hey, it's that simple, man. Some of us might go and get caught off the concentration camp for a number of days. Just be faithful unto death, man. Because you always gotta remember, the scriptures tell you, the ones that die in your house shot, they shall be the first to rise, man. All right, there's so many words, man. So you gotta be faithful to death, man. You gotta hold that fast, which that, which I have, man. No matter if you're calling for your head getting chopped off, man. Because in the scriptures, in Revelation, it tell you, uh, John saw the the souls of them that beheaded for 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 Yahweh shot, man. That's right. All right, for testimony Yahweh shot, man. He saw the souls crowned, man. Sitting in thrones, man. You know? Uh, Sirach. 36, verse 16. Reward them that wait for thee, and let thy prophets be found faithful. Honey. Uh, Sirach, 36, verse 16. Reward them that wait for thee, and let thy prophets be found faithful. Hey, what is the Lord going to reward us with, man? A crown of life, man. What's more, what's more you can ask for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, we're gonna get, we're gonna get the gold. Uh, we're gonna get the precious ornaments. We're gonna get all the wives we want. You know, we're gonna rule. But it's the fact that if we stand stiff for the Lord, man, He's gonna change us, man, from these wicked, foul bodies and 
give us a new body, man. Let's put us in a new body where, where the laws is written in our inward parts, man. That we can be crowned with a, uh, with a, with a crown of uh, uh, everlasting life, man. Never to go off again, man. That's better, that's better than all of it that's coming with it, man. To not sin anymore, man. Because with sin comes death. And if you don't sin, you don't die, man. So just, just, just let that sink in, man. Let that sink in. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Verse 2. And I, had a, and I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. Verse 3, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. You see, man, that's, that's how you know the Lord is a true power, man. He's going to make sure his men hear that new song, man, and redeem them from the earth, all right? Because they have their father's name written in their foreheads, man. That's right. That's why you got to stand boldly for that name. Yep. That's that market. That's that market exemption smoking on and smoking by the Ezekiel chapter, man. Yep. Right. Uh, I got to on. Verse 4. These are they which were not defiled with women. Let's not talk about, okay, women you pop, you know, just to get your nut off, man. Let's talk about the philosophies of this world, man. Right? Yeah. right? That's the women, man. All right? Believing in, in democracy, believing in Buddhism, Christianity, okay? Muslim shit, man. Believing in yourself, thinking you're a god, all right? These are they which followed the lamb with us every go. Like the brother said, if you're going to go into a concentration camp, FEMA camp, all right, you're going to still stand boldly for that name, all right? These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. Right. They're getting beamed to them chariots, man. First fruits. First fruits. Verse 5. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. And why is that? Because all we're doing is bringing out the Bible, man, and bringing out the scriptures. The Bible says this, all right? So that's no fault, no God, man, because we're not deceiving you. We're telling you this was going to happen. This is Psalms 91. Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the, the shadow of the Almighty. Come on, man. The secret place of the Most High is this truth, man, this knowledge, man, okay? That's how that's how you abide in the shadow of the Almighty, man, by, by taking upon you the, the wisdom of, and knowledge of Yahweh Shemiah Oshai, this, this truth, you know? I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God and Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the, the snare of the fowler and from the noise, and from the noisome pestilence, man. Okay, and that's going into the nuclear missiles, man. All right, by abiding in this truth and by by uh, abiding in Yahweh Shai, confessing Yahweh Shai, and enduring persecution, that's how the elect are going to be um, delivered from the noise and pestilence, which is the nukes, man. Right. Nuclear missiles coming and destroying this place, man. That's right. Okay. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. And that's against all these other false doctrines and philosophies, man. The truth is our shield and buckler, man. It helps defend our, our minds, okay, from all this wickedness out here, man. Okay? Verse 5, Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noon's day. Okay, and that's going into the, that, that's going into the various plagues, man, that the Most High is going to bring, man. Okay, Air, airborne diseases, man. Okay, and the nuclear missiles, the arrow that flieth by, by, by noonday. And, and, the, and the destruction that wasted by, by noonday. Verse 7, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. 
only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see with the reward of the wicked, man. And that's what's coming for these wicked ass people out here, man. All those that don't want to turn to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, especially of, of the nation of Israel, man, because the Most High is not dealing with you heathens anyway. That's right. Y'all gonna get destroyed, man. Okay, right. by the thousands, man. By the thousands of thousands. That's right. That's right. Verse 9, because thou hast made the Lord, which is thy refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, man. Hey, and that's facts, man, because the scriptures say all things work together for the good of them that love the Most High, man. Okay, so even if even if an elect member had to had to be martyred for this truth, man, that's still for the that's still for the good of the whole body of Yahushai, man. Okay, for the, for the whether to take that elect member out of this life so they could get delivered first, beamed up, or whether for the edification of another member of the elect, man, or maybe even the Most High delivered the elect member out of that situation to help build the faith of another member of the elect, man. Okay. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands. Neither shall thy foot uh, dash against the stone. Thou shalt tread up upon the lion and adder, and the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. Okay? So that's what that, that like the brothers going into. The Most High commending the elect man, giving, exalting the elect, praising the elect man. Why? Because they have known the name of the Lord, man. That's right. Okay? And that's a cut to all you assholes out there talking about the, that we don't know the name, man. The scriptures say that the Most High will exalt them because they have known his name, man.